hi folks in today's video we will be explaining this data structure which can be used to calculate rolling median so like this is the problem and goal of the video would be to develop an intuition for this data structure so that you can solve like different sort of problems and like different variation of this kind of problems and in today's lead code contest hardest problem can be solved very simply by using this data structure and basically i will talk about the standard version first and then we will talk about some variations and i would encourage you like whenever we are talking about a variation then you pause the video and try to think of like how we can modify the data structure to solve for that variation if you underst understood this uh, clearly then hardest problem of today's contest would become very simple for you let's get started okay so this is a problem let's say we have one array and we want to find out the median of all sub arrays of a particular size all right so let's say if we have this data structure which can be used to insert remove element and then it have a function which can be used to get the median of all the elements currently present in the data structure then we are done right how we are done is let's say we have one array if if we assume we have this data structure then what we can do is we will start with first sub array of len size and then at for calculating the next sub array what we can simply do is we call insert on the next element on this element and we call erase on this element so after that our data structure will have only this element which is the next sub array of size len so in that way we can iterate over all sub arrays of this size and we will be done because like moving from one sub array to other is only taking constant time and so that yeah in this way we can get the median of all sub arrays but yeah so th that is the sort of idea if we have this sub array how if we have the data structure how can we solve the problem but yeah now coming to the main thing how we can design this data structure let's go okay first of all what is the definition of median right if we have these elements in our data structure then if, if we sort these elements then the middle element is the median all right okay we can see these are in particular order and then again these are in the order in the sorted order so if we can maintain like the intuition is coming from this right if, if we can maintain these two parts somehow then we, we can simply say okay largest element in the left part is the median right that is the main intuition for this data structure okay so what we can do is we can just use two sets left and right so basically if we look at this array right so left will have all of these elements and the right will have all of these elements and for things like this for implementing these sets uh, you can use any kind of ordered set for example in c plus plus that would be a steady set uh, most of the languages should have something corresponding to that okay now this is our data structure we can treat it as a black box okay so main goal is that we want that half element should be in the left set half element should be in the right set if we can maintain that thing right if we can maintain this heuristic then we will be done right because then by this example right if we have left set have these things then we can just say okay largest element in the left set is the medium how do you maintain this see this we have we just need to support these three functions right okay so let's say if we want to insert insert in the 
left set. If you want to remove, check basically any of the set. If it is in right set, remove it from here. If it is not present here, it should be in this part, remove it from here. All right. Now we come back to the get median function. So if we have these two sets maintained, then get median easy. But how do we maintain this? The main problem is whenever we get an insert, we insert here or, or, or let's say we get an remove function, then we remove from this or this. In these areas and remove, right? We can increase the size of the left set or we can decrease the size of the right set. We can do all, all these things. So the main thing is that after every insert and erase, we need to do like some sort of rebalance. What rebalance mean is that let's say before, let's say we have in the left set, we have key elements. Let's call it uh, something else, not K because we will be using K later don't want to confuse you guys let's say we have z elements in the left set and z in the right at this point these are equal then one more insert z plus one and z okay still we are okay then we have z plus two and z and when we are inserting right we need to take care of okay if the new element is less than this less than the current median basically then we can insert it in here or otherwise insert it in, in the right set those things we, we can take care but let's assume both of the elements got inserted in this right so now our this condition is not maintained half elements are not here because it have plus two so ideally we should move an element here right so what we can do is we can take the largest from this and move it to the right set so after that we will have z plus one and z if the reverse thing would have happened which is like if the left has z and the right has z plus two then what we can do is we can take the smallest of right set and move it to the left set so after that we will have z plus one and z plus one so that's it basically that is the goal right whenever elements become more than they are not equal in both sets if this have if the left have more number of elements we can move it here from here and if the right have more number of elements we can move it here from here like this rebalance thing is right that is the main uh, core idea why the data structure works so after every insert or erase number of elements can be uh, this condition we want to maintain that can be disturbed so after every insert or erase what we can do is we can simply call the rebalance and then we would be done right so whenever we get a get median call we already know that our left side have half number of elements so what we can do is we can just return the largest of the left set then we are done what will be the time complexity it will be log of n because like whenever rebalance would happen right it will happen only like basically left set would have like two more elements or basically in every rebalance we would at max have to move one element and every insert or edge is also moving one element so in every function call we can at max move two element it, it can be let's say one insert here and then one because of rebalance similarly like one insert or one because of rebalance and ordered set usually works in like log of n if you use like something standard like let's say red black tree yeah so yeah basically complexity will be log of n and is the number of elements present in our set at that time all right this is done median let's look at some variations now right first variation is what if instead of median i ask you okay tell me the 
sum of all elements less than the median what will you do i would really encourage you to pause the video at this point and try to think yourself how we can handle this we just need a small modification cool okay let's see basically all we need is our left and right sets already have the elements right so we just need sum of elements in the left set what we can do is we can maintain a variable sum and whenever we insert an element in it into the left set we add it to the sum whenever we remove from it we subtract it from the sum that's it we can answer this question instead of this if someone asks us okay i want the sum of all pod elements which are less than median same we, we can just keep updating the sum and before updating we can just check if the number is odd or not cool right so based on this we, we can calculate anything with respect to median any kind of sum we can calculate sum of all the larger elements than median in that case we keep a sum variable and, and we keep updating it whenever we are inserting or removing from the right set okay let's look at one more variation okay i mean we are doing all of this stuff for median which is a middle element in the sorted form what if someone tells us okay i mean do this for the kth element wow that changes something right i mean again i would encourage you to pause the video and try to think but actually that doesn't change much right because we just need to look at the rebalance function right we, currently we were doing rebalance when the elements in both sets were not equal so instead of that we will do rebalance whenever let's say left set has k plus one comma z we move one element from left to right otherwise it have k minus one comma z we move an element from right to left so that's it like there, there is no problem basically in the rebalance instead of doing it when elements are the number of elements in both sides are not equal we just do rebalance when number of elements in left side is not k that's it we are done and this variation too is actually like what is the what was the hardest problem of this lead code contest we are talking about so like basically in that problem right and let's try to look at that variation instead of this if we want that's it right basically in that problem we need to find the sum of k minimum elements so if we do this variation too and variation one if both of the relation are present at the same time that's it that is exactly the solution of the hardest problem of the today's contest and you are done and try to think like basically like you can answer any sort of variation from this these things instead of minimum you can answer for maximum if someone asks maximum k then what we can do is in, instead of applying rebalance with respect to the left set we can apply rebalance with respect to the right set and whenever the number of elements in the right set is not equal to k then we can rebalance it yeah so we are done and if i will encourage you to write try writing code for this code is also like very straightforward we we just need to like take care of some uh edge cases kind of thing but yeah in any case i will be attaching my submission link of today's problem so that you can try that problem yourself also you can have a look at my code to see basically what is the exact implementation of this data structure all right if you found this useful subscribe to the channel and like this video that really encourages me to make more such videos